Testing, testing. Waiting, waiting. There it goes. Okay, it's live. I can just share it online. <laughs> Tune in. All right, good. We got it, yeah. Got it, okay. So share it to our pages real quick. Live. Cool. Got, got it. some people add on here. Tune in live. All right, now. Cindy's on here. All right, so we got two people. All right, guys, so if you guys are just hopping on, hello. All right, so we got... um. A couple things going on today. First off, I know, wait, I, look, wait, I, know wait. I look dead. So you guys you don't, don't have to say that. I you don't look dead. You're too hard on yourself. Well. She woke up like this. That's all. Shut the hell up. I look dead. Woke <laughs> up. All right. So if you guys are watching, we do have a contest going on, as you can see. This one was won by Denise Garcia. So congratulations, Denise. She won this. There was a contest yesterday that went all day, and Miss Denise Garcia got it. Who is sponsoring this contest, Jamie? That's First what I off, Diabla Decals is sponsoring it. Um, thank you, Diabla Decals. Thank you, Stacy. She made these fabulous cups. I mean, look how pretty this is. They're oh called God. tumblers. Tumblers. Yeah. Okay. Get it right. Anyways, so she makes them. So these two we're going to be giving away tonight. She forgot to give me a lid of that, but I'll get that lid for you guys. What up, Fam Bam? What up, Fernando? This is what happens when you're in a rush. They give you no lid. Diabla Decals, do better, be better. No, shut up. Be she stronger, did great. like she the thing going on one that you did right here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so all you have to do is make sure that you're liking pop, you're liking pop page, which you guys already are. So oh, no. there's one pop studio. Pop studio. Sorry. That's this page that we're live from. Like this, like this pop studio page. Yes. I gotta correct you, boo. You know your makeup ain't on. You're not on tonight. Oh my gosh, so I gotta. Up. I'm gonna help you. And then you gotta like Diablo decals. Mm -hmm. It's attached right here in the in the description. It's in there. You find it, and it's written all over it. All over. Um, tag a friend, and then show oh, live. Amigos. And that's pretty much it. Pretty. Yes, Cindy. I know. I know. What's up, Kyla? Thank you. Yeah, we had a lot going on. I did not have time to do my hair and makeup. So a lot going on stuff. is, is it's an understatement. Yes. So, but what I want to know Christina is. Christina said, leave me alone. How what, straight, what Christina? Alone. What Christina? Christina Narles. She's trying to stand alone. up straight? No, she said, leave me alone. Oh. Not stand up straight. What the oh, hell? Yeah. All right. So anyway, so we got that contest going on. So if you do want to participate, make sure you're sharing, tagging your friends. And liking both business pages. Gennaro, and that's it. Gennaro Jr., check that for me. What up, please. Robert? Lil Naro, handle that. All right. So um, there was a couple things that we wanted to talk about. Because Wait, before you even get started, you're not gonna talk about the snow? Oh on in, in March? I think everyone saw the snow, Alex. No, you know, in, in Tucson? The last time we had snow in March is what? What was or what was it? Um Easter Sunday, right? We had snow? Do you remember like four no. or five years ago? Yeah, I think it was Easter Sunday. Can somebody confirm that? Look with your weatherman. Shout out to my girl Stacy. Yes, yeah, she makes definitely the she uh definitely go follow her page Diablo Decals. Yes, so she does everything: tumblers, bags, stickers, shirts, magnets, magnets, um, invitations, special invitations. If you want, I'm actually gonna have her make my mom. My mom's going on a cruise, and she's going to splash splash. I, I was thinking of that. I'm just kidding. Um, no, no you didn't. She, she's going to be going somewhere. I don't even know, but I didn't know that this is a thing because I've never done a cruise before. But you decorate your door so that way you can find your door because they all look they all look the same. So I'm going to have Diablo decals make something really cute to go with the theme. And then what you do is you buy magnets. And people trade mag mag magnets. Magnets? Magnets. Magnet. Magnets. 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 Anyway, they trade magnets. Magnets. It's a magnetic situation. Yeah. It's, they trade it's it so with forceful. you and they give you some or it's really cool. So my mom has gone on already like, I don't know, like five cruises already. My brother spoils her. Shout out to my mom. So before we continue, All right. whenever you see us pick up our phone and look at our phone, we're not ignoring each other. We're trying to see who wrote Who's what. Who's laughing at me? So we, Don't keep, laugh at me. so we can keep up with it. My speech That's impediment. All right, leave my speech but, impediment alone. Can't say things. Your speech impediment? Man, my speech impediment. Yeah. Anyways, so if you guys want to win these cups, you already know what to do. Right there in the bottom of the description, we're going to have it rolling through so you guys can know and exactly just, what to do. Just so you know, Jamie, we may have not been on a water cruise, but we've been on a cruise. Why? We've cruised together before. In, in the mic, in the mic. Anyways, oh, you can't hear me. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And don't start My singing bad. backwards again. Anyways, so like I said, guys, if you guys want to win this, it's pretty simple, easy. And also, too, after this live, Diablo Decals is going to be doing her own contest where you can win any cup at any size, whatever decal that you want in it. Not just the cup, a tumbler, a, a tumbler. custom tumbler, any way you want. Did I say custom? Yeah, test them. A custom tumbler. Okay, so I don't, you want. okay, now that we talked about this, okay, so the whole drama was Selena and 
No, and you're not. No, you're yes, not. Yes, we're going to talk you're about gonna it. Bring okay. that up? No, 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 we're going to talk about it because them bitches are mean girls. Those are mean people. Yeah, I mean, mean it, people. It, it, is, it is a talking point. And... It is a talking point. And you know what's crazier <laughs> is that if I keep watching all these, these everything that, like, that's going on. In TikTok. Yes, on TikTok. And they were saying that that whole marriage was set up because, listen to this, because when Selena broke up with Justin, right away got with that Haley. What's her name? Ha- Haley. Haley. Got she's with Haley. Of, I think she's one of the Baldwin daughters. She is one of the Baldwin. Hey, yeah, from Stephen Baldwin. She's one of them. But listen to this. If you listen to Drake's song. If you, if you tighten that, it won't run away from you. Where? Tighten uh, what? Hello? Yeah. Um, anyways, if you listen to Drake's song, someone pointed out. It said, Ariana Selena Visa. And they said that Haley actually had money issues that they were like, weren't even like they were going downhill, That's, whatever it is. I, I'm, and I'm, I'm gonna defer so they're that saying, I, I agree that he maybe did it for a visa, but the Baldwins don't have no, no, money no. Issues. I'm saying he's he's worth like so much. He's I know, worth like over but ha- Haley, 200. Ha- Haley's family wasn't broke. The Baldwins got bad. No, no, they don't. They, I, that's what they were saying that his her dad actually had so no you're, money. You're on that side, huh? So I'm, I'm saying side? that it was arranged marriage because one, because of their religion. Could be, yeah. And so why did all of a sudden they got married so quickly? And they she just broke up with Selena. And then if you see the difference between I love Selena too. If you see the way the difference between the way Br- uh, uh, Justin treated oh, yeah, Haley yeah, and then sure. Selena, like. He was fucking bowing down to her and kissing her feet like. Budging. Anyways, we got so, ch- we got cheering on the other. Anyways, side. children still love oh, me. Kidding. Anyways, so it's just like, oh, what do you guys think? A- like, Auntie Jamie, you guys think that like Justin really set this shit up? Like, I sw- I I I'm pretty sure. Not so let Justin, me ask I think, you this. No, me, I think Haley did let me because Haley was so, so obsessed with Selena. Yeah, I mean, she, she was a, she was a mean girl. It. Like, she was but a let mean me ask girl. You this. If he. Love Selena, couldn't he just have gotten married to her and got his visa? But I think what happened was that he was young and dumb and thought, oh, hey, We're the Jenners, the Jenners over here are, yeah, but we don't have like, they're like celebrities. They can get all, whoever they want. And I feel like what happened was <laughs> that you have the, the Jenners now who are connected to the Kardashians, who at the time, I mean, I, I think the Kardashians are going to get canceled anytime soon. I think just the whole family in general are just going downhill. You know what I mean? Well, like, they said they got black magic on them. What? The tarot card Yeah, reader? someone said that. Yes. And if you <clears> see, <throat> like, Justin is so upset, like, sad. And I think it's... Yeah, he looks bummed out. I, I mean, think I, what I happened, too, is that, that, like, that, it sucks because, like, those girls are fat-shaming Selena because she has lupus and she can't control that. And they're fat. They're just being mean to her because, like, you know what I mean? Like, you how... Are, huh? You share it on your, on your page, right? Yeah. Like, and, and the thing about it is, like, they were friends with her. That's the fucked up part. They were friends with her. You know what they say. But you're all, you always get hurt the most with the ones closest to you. So it's very true. But the thing that's like so fucked up is like you could tell she has a genuine heart. It said she said the spell work will end in uh, in April. What the fuck? Imagine like dead ass. I feel like that black magic shit is real. Because so is, is it? A, so let me ask you this. Whose side are you on? I'm on Selena's side. Fuck so the mean it, girls. It, I it's, never. It's, so let me it's tell appropriate you something. to say anything bought. for Selena. No, listen. I have never bought, never bought. I have never bought anything of Kylie Jenner. Why? Because I, I know for a fact she don't put nothing. She just says, "Oh, you know what? Just, just put the same formula as that, and then put a pink package and put my name on it. It's gonna sell." Because dead ass, when her lip kit came out, lip kit. Yeah, I didn't buy any of that because I don't. I, I. Like, genuinely, they're mean girls. Like, they're mean, mean, mean girls. And if you look at her stuff, it's like the, the same plastics? damn formula. It's the same formula as NYX. And NYX is only, what? I buy NYX all the time. It's like five bucks, if that, for the lip liner. And hers was like 20 some dollars. Like, uh, no, backspace, delete. Go fuck yourself. Like, no. Like, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. So I don't buy anything of theirs because I really believe that they don't put the heart into it. Because a lot of influencers do that. That's the thing that's fucked up. Like, these influencers... Don't legit tell what their product is. Like, they just yeah. get it made. Okay, here, just say this, and it then gets, they start it gets, promoting it. It gets to a point where I it's mean, just about the profit, not the product. Yes, yeah. and it it's sucks no longer because, a passion. like, like I'm all about. Like, I'll tell you the truth about something. I hate when there's influencers on there, especially TikTok. You can't do it on TikTok because they'll call you out. Because look what happened to Michaela. Michaela got called out because, like, dead ass. You could tell they're falsies. Like, her <laughs> eyelashes looked way too <laughs> Who's like. Michaela, help me out here. Michaela's that one girl. Remember that um, I told you I wanted her palette, and uh, I never, I 
but ended up being sold out all at CVS. Yeah, all at CVS oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. got sold out. That greenish palette? Yes. Gotcha. And gotcha. so, anyways, and so she got called out in it. And I hate that because it's not the first time with an influencer that's been called out. Like, they open up a package, you're like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. It's like, bitch, it's a cup. Bitch, it's pink. Like, there's How nothing dare you special. Talk about the no, like, there's, like no, I'm just saying, like, there's nothing special about, like, something that you can get. Do you know what I mean? Like, at the end, they're just being greedy. They're getting, yes, you're getting paid for it, but. I think that's another reason why I, I, I do like Jeffree Star. I have a lot of Jeffree Star products. <clears throat> At the same time, I know he's going to tell me the truth now, I know this about is gonna... any product because he doesn't get paid. He does it, He just does it out of sight. And I think if a lot of influencers did that, like did it as their own, instead of saying, here, Maybelline is going to pay you to say this product is the best product out there. Cool, bet. But, I mean, if you go out there and do your own reviews, look at Jeffree Star. He did all those reviews on his own with no one getting paid. And at one point, he was a top YouTuber. Like, wow. I fucking, I, I love Jeffree Star. I, have a, I love his, his formulas. That's another thing. His skincare, he actually goes in there and does the skincare. So, he goes and evaluates. He goes the and product, evaluates. He actually goes and makes sure that the product is That's made awesome. with the best of the best. He goes in to make sure that each formula is being made the way it's supposed to be made. So, can I tell you this, though? What? Let me ask you this. Those girls that you're calling mean girls that have their own product and that they don't really care about it. Why do you think they do so well? Because all their weird, crazy fans. True. You know what I mean? But I think this, I think. I, I think that people are, it kind of reminds me of the whole thing. With, with, I mean, with, if you guys want to call line. in on this, like, we'll put up the number on there. If you guys want to comment on this, because I think it's a real big thing about this. Like, we definitely should be, um, it just, it's crazy how mean people can be. Like me and Alex know how it, how it is because oh, yeah. we had we at one point me and when me and Alex were first getting together we had someone try to cancel us like it was the craziest thing Legit and canceled. and that was the thing that we it, we even had we you know we won't say any names but we even had a major magazine who knocked us for their own weird reasons and, and it's and, the craziest thing like wow. cancel try to cancel our relationship try to cancel our business. It's the craziest thing, and I should have took their advice the first time they said that. Shut the hell up! I should have been Shut gone. Shut the hell up! But you know what I mean? It, okay, so Cindy said because people think if it's expensive, it's good quality, but you're being, but you're being had. You know, it's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. There's a lot of great products out there that are definitely affordable, and there's a lot of great products that are expensive and they are good. And so I since we're on the subject right now about. All this stuff and celebrities and these mean girls and products, whatnot. So, if you guys want to call in, the number is on there. It's 9050906. Is Pueblo winning? Is Pueblo winning? What happened? Oh, yeah. Please, Jesus, keep us. Yeah, shout out to Pueblo. Right now, they're, they're in the state championship game right now, right? State champion? Okay. Is that today or is it the semifinal? I can't remember. It's state championship. It's the state champion. It's state yeah, champion. Yeah, state championship game right now. Um, I saw. Um, Angel Brockamotha from the coach's office put it, put up a photo oh, that's of them. Right. They were getting ready right there, getting a little rowdy, rowdy of the Warriors. So, oh, man, I hope they pull through. Pueblo down by this. three, as Sue said. Uh, and also, guys, if you guys want in on the Pop Studio, there's plenty of open spaces. Oh, yeah. So, uh, sorry to cut you off, Jamie. But oh, the yeah. biggest reason that we're doing this all together, being live right here from Jamie's Cousin Studio, this is our third episode, is to promote his business, Pop Studio. Pretty much, he has everything you need here. All the tools, the platform, everything you need to get started. Or if you're an experienced one and you got all your own stuff too, you can come in here. It's a 12 by 12 spot. It's hooked up. The, the engineer, Chris Chris Kidney, he's awesome. He's doing the damn thing. He's all right. The, your Just opportunities here, the, the possibilities here are <laughs> endless. When I say endless, I mean, you can do almost anything you want to do. They'll make it happen in here. And I think they're only charging, what, 75 bucks an hour for the first hour, 25 bucks an hour after that. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what the rates are. To, uh, Chris, last, um, last you can you special. can inbox him on the Pop Studio, Cindy. Yeah, yeah. If you have more information, you can inbox and uh, Chris can answer you. Yeah, on yeah, the studio. for sure. Okay, let's get but, back to the subject. Back Go to ahead. the subject. So what I was saying is, when it comes to these celebrities and their and their and you guys can call in, like I said, call in and jump on this. I mean, it's it's an interesting topic because it's happening not with just celebrities. It's happening in our schools. It's happening like everywhere. at work. It's happening everywhere. Let me finish. Okay, go ahead. Jeez. Trying to be itching. And right then, here. I'm just kidding. No. Go ahead. So what I was saying is, you have all these celebrities and all these people who do all these, all these, some are good things, some are bad things, but they have clothing lines, they have makeup lines, they have all these different lines of everything. And the people who make them big are, are the consumers, us, me, you. We see, we see that. It's like, oh man, I want that. I want to look good. I want to be good. I want to feel good. And a lot of times, this is what I don't understand. 
Let's take your shirt for right now. Bread and butter. I love this company. This is what this is what bugs me. It's I, a nice shirt. It's good material. I love this company it, for a, that reason. It's a dope brand. I like the brand. It, it it's awesome. I, I gotta get more, I gotta get him to get more big boy friendly things, but he can, you know, if, if if I get on him with it. But bread and butter. People will not like, like the people who see that, they're hesitant to purchase that for let's just say the shirt. I don't know how much it is. Let's say it's twenty five bucks. I wanna say this is like this is like twenty bucks. I, I, I think this one is twenty. Twenty dollars. They won't spend twenty dollars on a local business trying to help someone from your ho- local hometown because they feel like I, I, I don't know. But they'll go spend one hundred and five dollars on the same looking shirt with somebody that they never met in their life before, and they're putting money in that person's in that person's bank account that's already up there when they can be supporting their local community, putting back into them. I mean, this guy right here depends on that bread and butter to put food on the table for his family. And another thing is, I really like this brand. That's the reason why you see me wear it all the time is because the material. Like I said, one like the influencers. These influencers buy cheap ass shirts and they put the logo on there, you know, Kylie makeup or whatever. Tiny and these people will pay fifty dollars for a cheap ass shirt yeah, that poor, says Kylie. Poor quality, something. Poor that, quality, yeah, you know, but obviously. people will buy it. Yes, because it's Kylie Jenner. I get it. I get it. But then you have a hardworking guy, which is Joey Velasquez. He's the CEO owner him of the brand, but him and his cousin. Yeah. And he actually makes these in his garage. He has actually has a studio. He puts in there. And, it, and he, the thing is, I've seen him before because I place orders online with him. And he'll text me, hey, I just got your order. I'm going to make it right now. And I'm going to ship it out on my shipping day. No yeah. worries. You know? It, and then what happens? He he's he likes to throw in freebies. That's a cool thing. What other company, of, do you think Nike's going to throw you a freebie? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. He even did appreciation customer, which I was that was dope as hell appreciation to all of his customers and he sent them out freebies and just saying thank you for your business and you know and that's another thing what i really like about this company and he gives back to the community whether, he whether, gives a lot back to the community i like that you're hyping him up because he, he deserves it but and not, he's gonna not, be our sponsor on the next one not only him but there are several local companies that people should look into yes. and support them whether it's jewelry makeup clothing Tumblers. That is shirts, why we have bags. Bernadette on today because she is the boss woman. Bernadette Woo-hoo. Alvarado, right? Yes, and she and that's oh. another reason why we're talking about I probably, this. Is because I, I she, murdered her name, guys. She it's can Alvarado. understand in this situation because you know she's a small local business owner with clothing. She has a fashion show. She has a lot going on, and you know people were like, "Well, I don't want to be in her fashion show because she's not big." It's like everyone has to start small because Pause. first off, a local entrepreneur, a local much, entrepreneur, is what yes. She is. And I think sometimes when people hear the word local, they're like, oh, that's small. No, it's not small. It's huge. It's impacting your community. So it's larger than just hearing the word local. That's why I, I feel like sometimes people knock people, oh, they're just local. Well, that's how you start. What do you think? You think you're going to start at the top of the, of the nation? Let me tell you something. Things? You know how me and Alex, when we used to do the modeling, like some of you guys that have followed me since then, you know what me and Alex used to do? We, well, we used actually to used to print out our photo. So we would do a poster and I actually would tell people, if you see me, ask for a free poster. Oh, yeah. Because why? Because I wasn't going to charge because, one, my name wasn't that big at the time. Some people did know me from MySpace days. You had a days. pretty long name. I, my name wasn't that big yet. And, two, I wanted people to find me and say, I follow you on MySpace. I would give them a free poster. And we we did it, and we gave out all of our posters. Yeah. So then the following year, I mean, we went to the Lowrider Show in Phoenix, and then we went to Vegas. It Those took a few big years show. to build but the, the Jamie Vanessa brand. This is what I'm trying to talk about. This is what happened. <clears throat> okay, so then, then the following year, uh, like a couple of years after that, we shot with Impala's magazine. So one of their um, photographers said, hey, we're going to shoot for the magazine. Can you come to Phoenix, and can you shoot this photo shoot so we can put it in the magazine? I was like, oh, my God, that would be an honor because someone actually told him about me. So first off, by me promoting myself for a minute, free, giving out free stuff. And then not only that, but I never charge anyone for a photo. I, I never I never understood that yeah. because you're at a car show already dressed in the part. And uh, I just Pue- couldn't understand that. I, Sorry I just, to cut you down. Uh, Pueblo went down. Shit. It's all right, Pueblo. Tucson is proud of you. Way to represent. Yes. So <laughs> that was the thing I never understood was that people charge. So there would be a group of girls like, oh, you have to pay $5 each girl. And I thought, wait a second. Why are you charging? Like you, unless you have a boot, but these girls are just walking around. And I told Alex, I would never charge them because they're coming. They're going to support you. They want to see you. There's a reason why they like you. And this is why we got more supporters in the in the lowrider community when we went to car shows because you did things like well, that. You because have of that, because of that, the photo shoot happened, right? 
photo shoot went down. It went great. It was in the magazine. It was badass. I was so excited. My mom was so proud. Everything, right? So then um, I asked the, the owner, Mark. I asked the owner, Mark, of Impal's Magazine, is it okay if I print that photo out as a poster and I'll give you guys the credit? That's another thing that these models did not do was give the photographer credit. Give your editor a credit because you know all the pictures are edited. They have their edit on there. And I gave the magazine, I told him, can you send me the logo so I could put it on there? Hell yeah. He sent it to me. He says, you can do whatever you want with your photos. I said, but I want to give you credit. He's all right, that's fine. Do whatever you want. So I put it on there and we started passing, we started passing those out. Then he said, I asked him when he came to Phoenix, one of the photographer that took that photo said, come to our booth and um, you can sell your posters. So I said, okay, cool. So we sold it for five bucks. And you know what happened? Because of mine and Alex's business that we were doing, we weren't on our phones because as I hate to say this, but at car shows, you'll see girls on their phone. They're like this. And yes, they're in their whatever, where that they're doing, but they're not paying attention. Like yeah. you're not selling. And there's, me and Alex, there's no engaging. There's there. no engaging. And me and Alex sold out of all our posters. We didn't have very many then, but we sold out of all our posters. And then I told Mark, I'll help you sell the magazines. So I started selling the magazines because one, I was in there. So I started signing all these magazines and I sold them for him. And he's like, who the hell are you two? I have never seen anyone. Yeah. And I can, Damien, if Damien's on here, Damien, if you're on here, he can vouch for me and Alex. Oh, Maria can, Jones in the Maria house from Alaska. Maria Jones from Alaska. And, 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 you know, and, and Francisco here shouting out Bernadette saying, yep, she is the one you want to work with. So he, I don't even know who Francisco is, but hey, shout out to you for supporting your local so, business here and shouting out it, Bernadette. You know, that's that's the thing what I'm saying is like the way you represent yourself, the way you present yourself, you are, you know, you're small, but you're big at the same time when you yeah. first start and you can take it anywhere. And I think after that, he was like, I don't, he's like, I want to talk to you and Alex. I want you guys, I want you guys on my team. So he, you know, we, me and Alex got to go all over with them Paul's magazine. We went to Stockton, we did San Bernardino, we went to Vegas, we went to... San Albuquerque, San Jose, San Jose. Nevada. I mean, Nevada. I mean, we went everywhere, and basically, I mean, we did the damn thing. I mean, at Albuquerque, we Mexico sold out of there. all because Mark couldn't be there. So I, we told Mark to ship the ship the magazine. We'll sell for you. We sold out of all of them, all of them. I mean, within the first, I don't even know, like three hours, they were sold out, and we sold out of two posters that day too. And you know what it is? Is people and there came, was about a hundred of those posters each. And we came by, and people. The thing reason why is because at people, I I don't know how to explain this. It's the way you carry yourself. The way you it carry goes, yourself. It goes at the a end. long way. You can you, you know you can be no matter what you do. In our case, and we're doing modeling. Thing. Jamie this is was me half, saying like I'm half, a product. Half, I'm I am something. Yeah. And people genuinely like my product. One because I interact with everyone. I. I Just talk your head off, guys. Just talk your head off. Just talk your head off. I didn't do a lot of things that like. A lot of other people did because I want to make sure that I the wives love me. I want to make sure the kids love me. I want to make sure like if I could be I could be in a thong and thong, the thong, thong, thong. <laughs> no, seriously, like, I could be yeah. in a thong and I still have parents, parents that come up to me like, can my son, you know, they're a big fan of you because yeah. of, you know, just what you, you know, you do, you know, my husband, I only want you modeling on my car. So at the end of the day, it's, you know, you're the product and, you know. I hate that the Kylie Jenner's are being mean. I hate that highly, you know, what's her name is being mean to so Selena. So don't, so don't drop her name anymore. Just talk about Selena. Who started, who started from like the bottom. Like she started from the bottom. Like she was poor. Now, I don't, 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 don't want to be a jerk, but Go ahead. Um, the girls you're talking about, I've seen some of their before videos before they got super popular and had money. They look like just average Joes and their true colors are coming out right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've I, seen them before they had all those facelifts and lips done. I mean, if you guys want to call in on this, call in, Francisco. Maria, if you want to call in, Maria call Maria Jones is headed to Kent to go see Ice Cube. So she's going from Damn, Alaska. Damn, son. I, yay, yay. She's going, Maria about to get hood. <laughs> she's going from one cold place to another. But um, on a serious Safe note, travels, again, Maria. we want to thank Diablo Decals for sponsoring the, sponsoring the live tonight. Um, these are her tumblers right here. There's a raffle going on right now. We'll raffle. Make sure you we'll guys raffle. are sharing we'll, um, it to we'll if you guys the share. Winner after the live, we're not going to announce the winner during the live. All you got to do is like the pop page, like the pop studio page, like the Diablo decal page, share the live, tag a friend, and then you're automatically answered. Uh, it's not too hard. Um, yeah. So all you have to, to do win. Yeah. What? Oh, Stacy. So Stacy's on here right now. Stacy. Stacy's the one that's uh, Stacy Marquez Valdez. She's the one that did these guys. And like I said, Diablo Decal is going to have her own contest where you're going to be able to pick whatever uh, tumbler that you want, cup you want. She has different sizes, and you can put whatever you want. So 
If you guys make sure that you guys see Sierra, people don't know how to be real. They make it. Yeah, that's called that's called new money. That's that, what it is. Well, it's what it is money. is people get influenced by other people and they think they have to be a certain way and they're not true to themselves anymore. And on that note, I think we're bringing in uh, Bernadette right now, right? Yeah, we're going to bring in Bernadette right now. Um, like Jamie says, she's a small business owner. She's into a whole lot of different things. We're going to ask her some questions. Let her let her I, know. You guys feel free to call in too, guys. Yeah, call the line in if is you need open. To. Let me. Uh, can you squeeze behind? Should I go forward? Yeah. You're good. good. Y'all so hear like, that? She said, "I got a big old butt." I put on baby got back from me real quick. Let me, <laughs> let me, let me throw it out there. Not way. So this is Bernadette. Welcome to the show, Bernadette. Thank you for Hi. being here today. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So technically, you're really our first official guest. Nice. Yeah. Woo -woo. Can they still hear? Can they still hear us? Wait, am I off? I don't know. Yeah, you're good. Uh -oh. oh, good. Okay. Uh -oh. I right. heard. <sighs> well, that was me because my mic was all messed up. All right. Oh, so first off, mic, Bernadette, one. go ahead and introduce yourself. So hello, I'm Bernadette Alvarado. For a lot of you that don't know me, um, my business is Tesoro Business Services. I am a, I am not a native to Tucson, but I grew up here in Tucson. Uh, moved to Las Cruces, New Mexico, and then came back um, after having my kids. So I've been here in Tucson now for about 16 years. Um, and very active in the community. I am somebody that believes in service. Um, and so <clears throat> working in the pandemic, I got laid off. Um, for 20 plus years, I've been an executive assistant. So that means that I wear so many hats. You know, as a personal assistant, how yes. that works. You're kind of um, the master of all, right? Yeah. Yes. And so I kind of just put that to to wanting to do my own thing. I was working insane amount of hours, and I was working for other people. I wasn't working for myself. And so if you, if you work as much as you do and you still don't have anything to show for it, I mean, you got you, you to gotta change the narrative because yeah. then you're not happy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I started. Right. I agree with that 100%. And I, I'm super, super excited about everything that you guys said about giving back into the community because we have so many small businesses, so many Latinx creators so many just creators out there right now that what hold on really quick can you hear now Lori? Lori, can you hear now Lori, can you hold on i'm, I'm gonna tell you what i look, can't hear you guys I, 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 get another mic you can't hear who someone said i can't hear you guys all right so look at me my check my you, check my yeah, check we're, we're gonna run that back real quick how about i'm gonna let her sit right here I want her to be able to be heard. Or okay. Is it just just try and let her go right now because I did okay. put an extra mic kind of pointing that way. Okay. 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 I think I can hear you now. Okay. <laughs> we'll touch <laughs> mics. <laughs> Which one? Are we gonna touch tips? <laughs> Weird. So I mean, what what's going on is in in our local community right now, and it's it's a beautiful thing to see. Is there so many creators, so many businesses that are are starting to come up from from you know. The pandemic, the, the pandemic really opened up a lot of doors for a lot of people to where they're not happy with their normal nine to five job, you know, and they're like, we're invested in these communities and they just, you know, these jobs and they just cut us, they just cut us loose. So it, it's really exciting to see all these new businesses coming to life. And, 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 and it goes back to what you said. Every dollar that we spend here in our community with local businesses stays in our community. Exactly. Yeah. So it makes no sense. I mean, if you can, and let's be honest, we, we're going to buy things that are not from our community. But if we can support that mom that's making dresses and she's selling it so that she can send her daughter to school. I mean, why would we not? And there's another there's another way that you can support. So you don't have to buy I mean, social media is everywhere. Social media is everywhere. The biggest thing you can do is press share. Mm -hmm. Share. And it's free. Share. It's free. You could tag a friend. If you know someone that is trying, like she said, trying to have a dress be made. Oh, I do know a girl. Hit up so-and-so. You know what I mean? And um, that is the biggest thing. It's free. And we, we do got to support our our local community and we do have to, you know, do a little bit more, which is cool. I don't know if you guys know, but there is this thing called... Um, what is it called? Out to went to it. It was only local Tucson um, vendors, which was awesome. What is um, it? The little retail center, Santa Cruz. 
Yes. I don't. I can't remember the name of that. Um, I think it's called like Marketing Tucson or something. But it's once a month, and it's nothing. You cannot. You cannot. You have to make your product. Your. You have it's to be ours. Vendors, so right? it's all Tucson vendors that personally make paint. They, you know, whatever it is, and it's so cool. And we're gonna talk about that next week because it's coming up. So. What we're going to try and do is talk about local events e that each week's going to be coming up. So, like, for instance, tomorrow starts a Tattoo Expo. And if you guys don't know, John from 44 Tattoo, he's local 444. here. 444. He's 44, 444 Tattoo. He's local here in Tucson. Yeah. And he started this Tattoo Expo. This is their 15th, I think. And he expanded it to Phoenix. And along with Mike, his partner, Mike, too, as well. So... You know, which is awesome. You know, normally it's like some big sucker that you know is from a different play part place that can that can do it. And he started small. And on that note, um, Bernadette, do you have any events coming up? Do you have anything going on right now that you want to put out there and say, "Hey, look, guys, I'm doing this"? Because it sounds like you have a lot going on. I definitely, you, I, yeah, tell us about your business. Because I definitely do. Let me tell you, this woman's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I have multiple businesses. Um, but at the heart of it, it's about small business. Um, I have a fashion line called Gordy Fabs, and Gordy Fabs caters to curvy women. Because unfortunately, um, in the community, and if you're not a curvy woman and you're shopping, you're ending up with like hideous stuff. I can't even shop at Forever 21 because they don't support thick bitches. Whoop, whoop. Well, they really don't. And neither does Charlotte Russe anymore. And they used to, and now they don't. They're like, like 1X is like literally an extra small. Mm -hmm. So right. speaking of curvy, curvy clothing, I just brought you a pair of leggings. Let I me did. know. Let me know what you think about those so leggings. What I really like about these leggings, if you guys can see, she brought me these. I'm like, girl, I do not fit in a two X. She's like, girl, go try them on. And so what it is, it actually has a waist banded. So and look how flat I am. I mean, I'm not flat, but I mean, and it does everything. Damn, Gina. <laughs> this out of the way. Get up and shake don't get but like it holds everything. You look good on you. They and the thing about you. it is us sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear the thing about it is us like big girls, big booty girls, is you can't buy regular jeans. You can't buy regular leggings. Like these don't have see through. That's the thing. I, my biggest thing is if I buy leggings, everything shows and this does not show. And I just I love the way I look at my panza like I have no loja. I have no, what is it called? Be proud of Rocco's Oh, my God. Game. Yeah, I have none of that. So, um, yeah, it's just, I, mean, I really, she gave this to me, and I'm like, girl, I don't know if I'm going to fit in them. I'm normally a 3X when it comes to, like, leggings. I'm a 16 in jeans. And these, like, I'm telling you, these fit so damn good. And, and my they, butt looks good. And they are my favorite. Like, I wear them with heels. I wear them under dresses. I wear them under my jeans lately because it's stupid weather. Here in Tucson, it's cold. Um, we're not prepared for we're not prepared prepared for snow. So yeah, they're they're my ultimate favorite leggings that I own, and I own three pairs. They come in gray, black, and maroon. Um, so today I'm going to be giving away um, a pair of leggings. So if you want to win the leggings right now, drop an emoji like crazy, and we're gonna have. Bernadette, pick a winner. So if you guys want to drop an emoji, drop a, whatever emoji that you want, drop it now, and then we'll have Bernadette. So we'll give a couple minutes. If you guys want, drop as many different emojis, whatever that you want, if you like to win a pair. And again, if anybody has any questions, feel free to call in. You don't have to, but if anybody does, or just write them right here, and we'll answer them for you. And I'm super excited about these leggings because they are provided by one of my business partners called Fad Fad Fadico. Um, follow, follow him online. Um, he, he does an amazing job. He has a whole array of, of products. And again, it goes back to when I started Gordy Fabs, it was about giving options to curvy girls. Um, and with that said, um, this year, October 20, I believe it's 23rd, we will be hosting Simply Hermosa. Mm -hmm. Simply Hermosa is one of the most fulfilling and empowering events that I have created. I am super, super proud of the community that um, has joined Simply Hermosa. Um, and, and I'm super, super grateful for all of my partners. I could get really emotional here, but let's, I'm super excited about it. There's nothing, wrong with, about getting, there's nothing wrong with getting emotional. You know? Right, you, you right. And, blood, and another thing is that she does have a fashion show, and the fashion show um, has 
all different sizes of body types. So the body types are not just real skinny girls or not. They're every every style you can imagine from thin to thick to, you know. Well, I will say, yes, this year we are incorporating some thinner girls, but originally it starts um, at 12. Size 12 is what's considered a plus size woman. And, I and, and that. that is and that is over 75 percent of the United States, no women way. in the United States. That's yes. Crazy. Yes, absolutely. So I have with with this last fashion show, we supported 42 different businesses. 42 different businesses. So it, it, wow. is, it is truly something that money goes back right here to, to our community. And like I said, if you guys want these leggings, drop, keep dropping emojis, whatever emojis you want. Just keep dropping them, dropping them, because uh, Bernadette's going to pick one later. And then also, Bernadette has a huge announcement, and we are so excited that she's announcing it on our show because, you know, definitely... Um, I'll actually, I'm going to let you say, it. I don't want to get into, I don't want to give it away. So our Simply Edmosa, I'm proud, proud, proud to present is going to be a podcast and we're going to answer this question. And, and I really want women to, to start thinking about what makes you beautiful. So Jamie, on that note, answer that question for me. In all honesty, I think my personality does. I think I, I I think it is my personality because I know it's kind of weird, but if you know me, personally know me, um, like if I get thrown in a room and I don't know nobody, I mean, I'm I'm the most weirdest person. I swear to, like, sweet little baby Jesus, I'm weird as hell, but I will start a conversation with anyone. I can make interest with anyone. Um, I mean, I'm telling you, I, I think, and that's another thing is, like, I could. I just get along with everyone and anything. Let me tell you how I get along with everyone. Wait, I, let, wait. Let me. Can I say something real quick? What? Can, wait. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? So really quick on that note of personality, Jamie, saying that that's your um, that's what makes you feel pretty, right? That's, I, that I was, think that was so. Yeah, I think so. so. What makes you What so, makes you beautiful? What makes you beautiful? And I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I agree with your with because I had no your, eyebrows and with, you yes. fell in love with me when I first met Jamie. I was like, wow. Yeah, obviously she was she was attractive, obviously. Um, but when I started talking to her in that first hour, hour and a half, I was like, wow, this girl's heart is golden. And that's what her beauty came from within. Dead serious. That's not cliche. That's not trying to be all Mr. Cute guy right here to Jamie. No, straight up her personality. I'm like, yo, she has a lot more to offer than just a pretty face. And back then, trust me, I was like, mm, she's going to use some work right here. Shut <laughs> the hell up. But in all seriousness, it was her personality. So I'll give you that. I like I like that answer. I like that no, you answered that about yourself. I really do think it's my personality. You're and a people then, person. So. Let me tell you, like, this will tell you exactly what type of person I am, right? So back in the day, there was someone that did not, that me and her kind of didn't click. I'm not going to drop any names because we're cool now because I forgive her and... You know, she she knew it was just a mutual thing, but she didn't kind of like me. And Alex's cousin brought her. And um, anyways, long story short, I was a DD, so I didn't drink. But they all started drinking. This guy was going to prison and he was handing out shots to whoever wanted one. He had like so much money and he's like, who wants drinks? Everyone shot drinks, blah, blah, blah. So this person got super intoxicated and she came in a taxi because Ubers weren't there back then. Yeah. You know, struggle was real. All right. Nobody knows. Yeah, you got to call a taxi. All right. But um, anyways, I she got so she blacked out and I was not going to leave her. Why would I leave her? My biggest thing is her mom's going to worry about her. her dad's going to worry about her, her kids going to worry about her. I could not leave her like there was no way in hell I would leave her. I don't care if we don't we didn't like each other. My thing is that something can happen to her and I can't I can't do that. Like I cannot do that to her. So anyways, I threw in the back of my car. Then what happened? These girls, these girls try we were going down the alley, and these dumb girls tried to <laughs> remember that. Like, yeah. These dumb girls like hit the back of my trunk, and I was pissed. I was like, "Skirt!" I was skirt. Anyways, I got out of the car. What the hell is wrong with you? And then our my cousin came out of the other side. Blah 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 blah. We were about to fight these girls, and then all of a sudden the back seat opens up, and that girl's like heaving, like she's choking. So what did I do? I stuck my finger down her throat because I didn't want her to choke. I mean, this girl's pretty much passed out, not knowing what to do. So I stuck my finger down her throat. Because I didn't want her to choke. Anyway, so then I, I got, we got on her phone. We found someone to drop her off. I got the address of the person. I got the phone number of the person. I called the person to make sure that that phone number was legit. And then 
I gave it to Alex to give to that person's mom and tell her, this is where I dropped her off. I just dropped her off right now. This is the phone number, and this is the name of the person. And um, That story alone speaks volumes about You know what I mean? Like, I just awesome. couldn't. I couldn't do that, too. And and that's why I, like, people don't really know that story at all because I never told it to anyone. But I, that that should tell you, like, my personality. And I still would do that today. I mean, I still would do that. I have done that, actually, before. I'm not, like, put my finger down someone's throat. But, I mean, I have done... Things where I people will tell me, fuck that, I would have left that bitch there. I would have left her. Like, no, why? Why? It's crazy. Like, no, I mean it's not as crazy as it is now, but it's so crazy. Then what would have happened to her? We would have sent her, we would have seen her on the news or something. On that note, that's an awesome announcement that we're gonna put out there. That's just another podcast that a lot of females, even men, can tune in and, and watch and see what you guys what the girls gotta say about yourselves. How how many how many different girls do you think you're gonna have on your on your uh on your podcast is it going to be a team of one two four five you're going to have different girls in all the time we're, we're gonna we're gonna support as many businesses as we can awesome. um and so many as many women um women that are doing things in the community and not just women i plan on having some men in too as well because i want the male perspective as well and do you know um do you know when your first one when your first podcast is going to air um, I'm very proud to announce that it's going to be Monday, starting at um, six o'clock. Wow! So this yeah. coming Monday, yeah, six p.m. And where can they find it at? Yeah, right here on Pop Studio. On Pop Studio, that's awesome. So you guys, make sure that you guys are liking the page because now we're at three. Pop Studio has three studios, so now we have Coach Angel. Shout out to Coach Angel. Uh, Coach's office with Coach's Angel office with Angel Bracamonte. This and, kidney's always up in there. Yes. So and, and it's all local, local and somewhat NFL. They'll talk about everything, everything, which is cool. And then you have big things popping with my co-host Jamie Vanessa. I'm Shut just kidding. The hell up. You're about to get your ass beat when we get off of this. I was just only kidding. kidding. But you know, so there's different things. And then we have Bernadette. So I mean, there's just so much going on. And then you guys, if you guys want to hop on this podcast type of deal, you know. It could be different from us. It could be, you could be just have your friends on here and talk about different topics. I mean, you never know who's going to watch. And again, remember this, you, no matter how, how uncomfortable you might feel in front of the camera, how weird you think you might be, you might be the one who's connecting with someone else out there. And there's, there's hundreds and thousands of other people just like you. You don't know yet till you're in front of the camera and doing your thing. And those people will gravitate to you, tune in, check you out. And yeah, I mean, who would have thought anyone was going to listen to me and Jamie, but here we are. Oh, my God. <laughs> but anyways, guys, so Bernadette's going to give one of her leggings away. So if you guys just keep pressing those emojis, we're, that's how we're going to give away. Just press whatever emoji you want. I know Lori's in Throne put hearts. Right. Lori she, looks like she's she's winning right now. Uh-oh, Lori Centron. We're going to give it. Let's see. Two more minutes right now. If you guys want in on this contest, all you have to do is just keep pressing emojis on the, on the um, comments. So go to your emojis. I'm going to put one right now. Put a heart like that. You know what? I and just there realized? you go. I forgot that we just went like live that. on the Pop Studio page today first. Yeah, we're live yeah, on yeah. the Pop and that, Studio. And that's the whole goal. Obviously, we usually go live from Jamie's page, but our whole goal is to get people to get tuned in to Pop Studio. Check this out. See what they're about. I mean, again, Pop Studio, um, Diego, shout out to him. And um, Alois uh, Centron and Ashley Duarte are putting pants in a heart. So all you guys have to do is just keep putting emojis, whatever whatever emoji you want, just keep tapping in. And then um, also, too, guys, we still have these two to give away. I mean, look how cool these are. And we're going to give those away after. After. We have to make sure that they like the Pop Studio page, the Diablo decals page, and that they share this live. If you didn't do those things, you're not winning, and no one's getting them. Just kidding. But um, on a serious note. I mean, if they don't yeah. do it, we could do it, give it away for the next one. Yeah, we definitely can. Let's see. We have Elena Bejarano. All right. There we go. Now they're cut. Now they're popping. There now they're go. going. So yeah, guys. So I'm just really excited because now Pop Studios is growing, and uh, which is really neat. We have three now on here, and it's super exciting that you know. Again, it goes back to the community here being about small business, giving back to our community. Because I know you guys are huge advocates for the community, as well as Diego, as well as myself. And it goes back to you You invest money into our community. It yes. goes to our kids. It goes to our schools. You know, when we're buying big brand names, that money is gone. Yeah. Like, it doesn't stay here. So the more we can support our local mm -hmm. creators, our local businesses, our local makeup artists, hairstylists, 
And and believe me, there's a million. Don't forget the food spots. Oh, yep. Absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> and I, and and that's how I met Diego. So I need to like always give love to that as well. But again, it comes back to give love to those that support you. You don't know whose lights you're keeping on exactly. when you go and you support them. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. Yes, and speaking of food spots, someone said because uh, Pop Studio asked about what should we talk about, and one of them was food spots. And uh, I think one of the good food spots we kept talking about um, is Roma. Oh, right? yeah. A lot of people don't know about that place. I don't know how they don't know about Roma Imports. It is a local spot here in Tucson. Definitely they've been here, they've go been here try since it like out, 1999. You guys, I'm telling you right now, if you guys go try it out next week, they tell got us some about authentic, it. authentic Italian grub there. And if you want to be basic like me and you're in a rush, just get yourself a meatball sub there. Trust me, you will not be this. That sauce goes hard. But I think we're almost going to get ready to wrap this up. Are we going to let Bernadette select yes, the winner now? Ahead, you can yeah, sit. do your thing, Bernadette. You pick whoever you want, however you want. And don't be. Oh, look at Lori. I, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to give it to Lori just because of all the love she she showed me. Um, but you can find my leggings. Um, give me a shout out and, and I can definitely get you a pair of leggings. Um, I am so excited for what's happening next week on my show on Monday. We will be having Carla Mejia of Baking is My Therapy. We'll have um, Luciana with Deluxe Makeup. And, and she's going to be, she's, simply, she's one of Simply Hermosa's sponsors. Tune in next week to see what we're going to be giving away on our inaugural show. Absolutely. And we'll make sure we drop the link here at the end of this live once we're all done. We'll make and sure also, we put that on Pop there. Studio will also be having a flyer with her and welcoming her onto her first episode. And we guys, we definitely want to show love to everyone because, I, like I said, you guys may like like me and Alex and like you guys are cool. But then you might see Bernadette and be like, you know what? I can relate to Bernadette more than yeah. I can relate to Alex and Jamie, which is totally fine. Totally fine. Mm-hmm. You know, this is just basically... Sometimes maybe you just need... Wait, wait. She going to take my shine? <laughs> well, no, I'm just kidding, guys. You know, maybe she just... In this platform, we all shine. Yeah, yeah. but you know, it just, you just never know. Damn. Like Alex said, you just never know who you could connect to. And sometimes exactly. maybe you're just doing your makeup and you just want to, you know, listen to someone. And maybe Bernadette and her crew might help you out. So, so before, before we end the show, just like Jamie said, maybe you're doing your makeup and you just want to listen to something. Jamie, when she's doing her makeup, which takes hours sometimes, which is okay. She's always listening to something different. You're always into a different podcast, a different this, a Reddit video or whatever. But yeah, per, tune in, you know, save the Aliens, video. You don't even if you don't Bigfoot, watch it live, watch it later. Conspiracy theories, that's where you can find me at. But yeah, and we're gonna talk about conspiracy theories, I think, next week. Yeah, someone said to talk about conspiracy theories. So I wanna I'm gonna make a list of conspiracy theories. And I really want you guys to call in. If you guys wanna call in and be like, you know what? I heard this and I believe in this. Yeah, so it'll do be that. dope. Let's I mean it'll next be dope. Week. So but we do, but we do got to end the day, unfortunately. Um, we got we got the engineer. He got to get out of here. He got to get the Bro- hell out of here. He's going like this. Well, get thank the fuck you, out Chris, here. for us studio. having you here later later than you need to be. And thank like you, I said, once Bernadette, again, guys, for joining us yes, today. Thank you, Bernadette. If you guys want to do the studio, you get at the cost that that cost that comes with the studio. You get everything that you see on the screen. Shout out to Chris because he's the one that does the engineering. He does. All this stuff, which is really cool. So if you guys want to do a YouTube, if you want to just do a live Facebook podcast, if you want to pre-record, you can do that as well, which Chris got everything. Opportunities to, opportunity. are endless. Endless. And it's I'm all here. I'm going solo in three months. Jamie don't know you, Shut but I'm making my own contract. Alex. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. Thank you, all right, Carla. Guys, thank you all but, for tuning in. We appreciate it. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, man. go ahead. Well, you look at anyways, me like that. No, anyways. But that is if it. If you so. see me next week with a black eye, it's because of this night. Shut up. He fell down the stairs. and We don't even, we don't even got stairs. <laughs> anyway, so we guys hope you guys have a great night. And we'll see you next week. Okay, okay bye. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs>